come back. Happy Women's Day. I will state some messages or about women. About women, Eleanor Roosevelt told, a woman is like a tea bag. You never know how strong she is until she gets in hot water. Today's video I have dedicated to all my sister viewers of my channel. Today I will discuss more concept about the uniform convergence of sequence of function. At first I will discuss one question. First I will discuss one question which had come CSR net 2020 November. The question is suppose fn is a sequence of function on the set R and suppose it converges to the function f uniformly on each closed and bounded subset of R. Then which of the following statements are true? Option 1. The sequence fn converges to f uniformly on the set R. Option 2. The sequence fn converges to f pointwise on the set R. Option 3. For all sufficiently large n, the function fn is bounded. Option 4 indicate for all sufficiently large n, the function fn is continuous. Are you getting the option? Here indicate the sequence of function converges uniformly on each closed and bounded. Very interesting. On each closed and bounded subset of R, a sequence of function is converges uniformly. First option indicate if a sequence of function be uniformly convergent on each closed and bounded subset of R, then that implies the sequence of function is converges to a uniformly on the whole real line. Very interesting. Think. Consider for this sequence of function fnx equal to x over a. You can choose also x, x square over n square, x r cube over n square, such type of sequence. Okay? Because we all of us know x, x square, x r cube be the uniformly convergent function in the closed or and bounded subset of R. Since here given the sequence of function, so I have divided it by n, n square, n cube. Such type of sequence of function always be uniformly continuous on the closed and bounded interval. Okay. Now, here just consider fnx equal to easy type of sequence of function x over n. In. At first, see the graph. This is actually straight line whose slope is 1 over n. Obviously, this sequence of function converges to fx equal to 0. And if you consider any epsilon neighborhood around the function fx equal to 0 then if you consider any closed and bounded interval then obviously after some stress all the function belongs to this neighborhood are we getting that means fx actually here converges to 0 uniformly. 
for any closed and bounded interval on the set R. For M be any set, M belongs to any real number, M can be large number. The proof is uh, such type, let epsilon greater than 0. If x belongs to minus m to m, then for uniform continuity f n x minus 0, this value would be x over n, who is, since this is lies between minus m to m, then this value obviously less than equal to m over n. Okay? And as n tends to infinity, obviously this value tends to 0. Therefore, select capital N such that 1 over n less than epsilon over m. Then notice from this relation, we can write this would be less than m times epsilon over m, put the value, then obviously this relation would be less than epsilon. That means our proof has done. This function is obviously be uniform continuous on any closed interval. But the question is, if this is uniform con convergent, in any closed interval, then that imply this function be uniformly convergent in whole real number. First, notice the graph. Consider the big N. Notice in attention, the line here does not contain in the epsilon neighborhood. Whole line does not contain this neighborhood. So, consider big N, then obviously Fn x would be x over n. Now choose a point x naught. Then at the point x naught, the value would be x naught over n. Then mathematically I will get f in x naught minus 0 less than greater than equal to epsilon. Here notice f in x equal to x over n consider the point x not equal to capital N then fn x not would be n over n which is equal to 1 and if you consider let epsilon equal to 1 then this value n over n, which is equal to 1, is greater than equal to epsilon. Are you getting? O n. Therefore, I have got one sequence of function, which converges on each, each closed and bounded interval of the R. But, this function, not uniformly convergent, on whole real number. The option 1 is a wrong option. The sequence of function converges to uniformly on whole real number. This is wrong option. Second option, the sequence fn converges to a pointwise on whole real line. That implies if it converges pointwise in each closed and bounded subset of R that is implied it is pointwise convergent on whole real line 
if you consider this sequence of function obviously this sequence of function be the pointwise convergent to fx equal to 0 function in whole real line okay idea is such type consider the interval minus n to n for each point the sequence of function be pointwise convergent and notice union of this interval we all of us know this is actually the whole real number surely union of this interval is the whole real line that means the sequence of function be converges in each point but the sequence of function not uniform converge that means option 2 is a right option the sequence fn convergence point wise on r option 3 for all sufficiently large n the function fn is bounded obviously this option is wrong option and this is true because if you consider x equal to n square n cube so on large number then as n tends to infinity this function is tends to infinity that means obviously this sequence of function be unbounded when the value of n large for all sufficiently large n the function fn is continuous this is very interesting i will break it by one nice example consider the sequence of function such type fn x equal to 1 over n when x lies from 0 to 1 over n and 0 lies from 1 over n to 1 notice here at the point 1 over n the function not continuous but I had seen in my earlier video he, for this type of function actually this type of function converges to fx equal to 0. I had discussed this type of function to prove the pointwise convergent briefly. Are you getting why my previous video is more important to find the basic idea? Well, that means I have got one sequence of function which converges pointwise to a continuous function. But this sequence fn is not continuous function. That means option 4 also wrong option. This option will be true when the sequence of function be uniformly continuous. Okay? That means here only one option is the right option. You can see one nice theorem which is very important to find uniform convergence. The theorem is a sequence of function fn is uniformly convergent if it is uniformly causing. This condition is if and only if condition. Here, if and only if. At first, the proof consider the sequence of function uniformly convergent. Then I will prove the sequence of function be uniformly causing. Let epsilon greater than 0, there exist n epsilon such that for all n greater than equal to n epsilon, absolute value of fnx minus fx less than epsilon, this is true for all x belongs to E. We all of us know this is the definition of uniformly convergent. Now, we have to prove this sequence of function be uniformly Cauchy always since the function is 
uniformly convergent. For Cauchy condition, we have to find distance between two term of the sequence of function be less than epsilon. That means distance between two two term of the sequence where for all mn belongs to capital N, we can write this is also minus fx plus fx minus just see the part here I have written this as because in my hand has this condition are you getting then y triangle in inequality from this line it implies absolute value of fnx minus fx plus absolute value of fx minus fmx and notice here I have chosen this is less than epsilon but here for this part we can choose this epsilon also be very small so we can choose this is less than epsilon over 2 now put the value this is epsilon over 2 also this is epsilon over 2 and this is equal to epsilon are you getting this is true for all x belongs to E. That means uniformly convergent always imply uniformly Cauchy. Now I will prove if a function is uniformly Cauchy that always imply the sequence of function be uniformly convergent. Conversely, consider the sequence of function be Cauchy sequence. Then the definition would be let epsilon greater than 0, there exists capital N such that absolute value of fmx minus fnx less than epsilon, which is true for all mn greater than equal to capital N and for all x belongs to E. That imply, obviously, the sequence fnx is Cauchy sequence of the real number. And we all of us know Cauchy sequence of real number always be convergent. So, limit n tends to infinity fnx equal to fx. That means in my hand, I have this condition. That means this sequence be pointwise convergent. Now we have to prove this sequence be uniformly convergent. Since limit n tends to infinity equal to fx now apply here limit since here I have apply limit as n that means only this value would be changed fnx would be fx and this is true for all mn greater than equal to n and for all x belongs to e that means now, in my hand has this result. Absolute value of fmx minus fx less than epsilon. This is true for all mn greater than equal to capital N. And for all x belong, belongs to E. Since this is true for all x belongs to E. Now apply suprema in this relation. Obviously. Since this is true for all x belongs to E, then this supremum also would be this relation. This is true for all x belongs to E, so supremum value also will satisfy this relation. Here I have used the supremum only for all x belongs to E. Okay? And from this relation, our condition of uniform convergence has satisfied. Are you getting? Well.